Welcome back to International Scale Modeler, I'm Lee. Today we're going to do a quick review of uh, another little thing I picked up from Mr Hobby which is uh, the Mr Stand. Now the Mr Stand is a uh, little standalone airbrush holder. Now um, as you can see from this picture here, uh, my workbench is quite close to my computer and everything. Um, and I've got all these airbrushes just sat there um, and I can't fit four on that holder. Uh, so I needed another one while I'm spraying just to be able to pop this in and out uh, for the, whichever airbrush I'm using to spray at that time. Uh, now I saw this when I purchased a few other rods and so I thought oh I'll give that a whirl. Um, I did say it did look at it and thought well there doesn't seem to be much to fix it to anything but I thought I'll, I'll take a punt on it. It was, only, it was only five euros, five and a half euros, so it was only about four pounds. Um, but anyway uh, the packaging itself uh, as you can see it literally is just a hard plastic box, doesn't really say anything on there. And it shows you there um, how it's used for, which we'll go into in a little bit. Um, but, uh, but anyway, so we'll open it up, it's quite easy to open. And the, flash, the price is being flashed up as we speak. Not a lot to write home about. I mean, that's really the, the, uh, the, the thing of it. That, that's all it is, as you can see from the overhead. It literally is just a plastic stand on a plastic base and it does undo. As you can see, uh, it's interchangeable with some of their other stuff that they have there. So you can put a different cup on there and everything. But that is ideal for what I want it for. Uh, and the good thing is, um, you come along with your airbrush and it does just sit in there quite nicely. Uh, what they've done also is you'll see that the head sits at exactly uh, the right degree, so this is probably, what is it, 45 degrees um, and this head sits exactly vertical um, which is nice so you, the paint's always going to stay like that, it's not going to tip or, or anything or you know and sometimes one of those that, that doesn't sit straight and it can go up, back up the airbrush and things like that so very nice indeed. Now I've got four airbrushes, the other, the other two are very similar to this, to the Infinity that I've got there but I also have uh, this, which is a uh, TRN1, which I use for my base coats. Um, good coverage with this thing. Um, and I have a problem with normal holders because they won't hold a trigger airbrush, as you can see. But this one, as long as you put the trigger in in front of that first, sits in there quite nicely. And it doesn't pull it over or overweigh it. And that's without fixing that to anything. That is just loose. Um, but as you can see, it sits in there quite snugly. So, a very very handy tool indeed. Um, now the other thing I've got, I, I'd like to fix my things. I don't I don't want anything loose because you, you know that as soon as you put something in there, you'll knock it over and it's a cup full of paint and it's going to go everywhere. Especially if it's not going to go over your model. So what they've done is uh, on the front, there is, on the back, there is this little metal cup and inside the cup is a magnet. Um, now the magnet. Uh, if you have a look, we go back to their, their box cover, uh, which is here. You can see on here that um, it's a metal tray. Um, and you can buy this from, from uh, Mr. Hobby as well, this metal tray. <clears throat> and this just obviously magnetises to the metal tray. You can see the other stands there as well. So that's the, the point behind the magnet. Now I haven't got a metal tray. I don't use a metal tray. Um, I could probably get one if I wanted to. but. I tend to keep my paints inside the, the, the spray booth itself. But um, what I have got, what I did uh, do already own, is I bought some of these. Now these are earth magnets, rare earth magnets. Um, and if you've had, ever had one of these, you know that they're, they're bloody strong. So I'll try and get one off the end of there. <clears throat> so uh, I've got these and I thought, well, that's, that's not actually, you know, that's close to the right size. So what I've done, I've got uh, on my spray booth, as you can see from that previous picture, uh, I've got the, this like, Fomex board as a base. So I thought, well, I'll tell you what, I'll stick one under there. And I'll put it around the right way because it's just shot across the board, uh, like so. And that's it. See that on the base of my spray booth, they've got this. Now this, pop your airbrush in it, it's, you can't knock it over. You can move it, but it won't, there you go with a big old bang. Um, so that was my idea. I'm going to use that to, to secure it, um, which is quite a simple thing to do. Literally done. Um, and that's it. So I think that's quite handy in the fact I like the magnet approach. It saves me drilling another hole in my desk, which is how I used to have one. Um, and it's, uh, it's fine until you move or you want to move your spray booth to a different part of the bench or 
or whatever, it just lacks versatility. Uh, the other thing is, obviously you've got one of these, these mats, you can pop it under there, and it still works fine under the mat, you see? Uh, see, it's fine there as well. So, uh, the, the rare earth magnets, if you can get them, they are pretty good. <coughs> They're very solid. I think what I might do, is I might get, uh, as you can see, this is quite a bit smaller here. This is the size of a, you know, 10 pence piece. And this is more of the size of a 50 pence piece. So I think I'll probably invest in a couple of uh, larger earth magnets. And they literally are about 10, 20 pence each off of eBay. Very easy to get. You can get them all shapes and sizes. And they're very, very handy to have lying about the house. I've got several different sizes, no big ones, unfortunately. So, um, so I should definitely uh, do that. Um, but overall, I think for, how was it, £3.50 if it's five euros? Um, it's, it's a great little tool. I, I like the flexibility of it with the magnet on the bottom, I have to say, and it's ideal for what I, it's going to serve a purpose for what I want it for. So that is the Mr. Stan from Mr. Hobby um, for your airbrushes. Until next time, take care. Bye-bye.